So Michael, what was your project with your group in Applied Theater? What? Oh, sorry, I was texting. <laughs> uh, um, our group did an Applied Theater project on texting and driving and how it affected the community around us. Dallas, what is Applied Theater? Applied Theater is taking a simple idea and turning it into a theatrical performance with a bunch of monologues and it enhances and lets the community know and is more knowledgeable about the subject. What initially drew you to the subject of texting and driving? Well, I feel that everybody actually texts and drives and it needed to be told to society what the dangers of it are and how it affects people around them. What people don't realize is that you're, you're texting and driving, but it doesn't affect the person next to you, but in a sense it really does. Michael, what was the process like in creating your device theater piece? Uh, the process was pretty complex. We started by going out into the community and getting interviews from people there. Um, I received an interview from the president of the Stay Alive, Just Drive campaign. Um, and then we took those interviews and we kind of crafted it together into a uh, script, a narrative. Um, then we sought out to create performative ways of doing that script. We used some techniques from Liz Lerman to help with that. Um, we also had a whole bunch of different ideas that didn't end up in the final product, such as um, like the audience texting answers to certain questions and stuff. But we had other really interesting performative ideas, like a Jeopardy game and different ways to explain how human communication has deteriorated over the years. So Dallas, did the work pay off in creating the piece? Um, I felt like it did. Um, later that night, actually, I went home and actually talked to someone on the phone instead of texting on the way home. Um, I felt like our piece was a little different than others because it wasn't just filled with facts and like sad moments. Um, we had a little funny moments in there, so it was kind of like a roller coaster. But um, I feel like it did pay off and we got our point across. What would your advice be to the next round of performing community students? Well, I think for one, you don't have to be afraid to go out and get interviews. People are going to back you up and they're going to be willing to give you information. Organizations are going to see what you're doing and they're going to help you with it. And also, pick something now that you're going to be interested in because you're going to be doing this now for two semesters. You're going to be working very closely with your group mates. Pick something now that you would want to invest in and want to share with society about the cause.